You should know that this decision is a huge decision for ASU and Sun Devil Athletics. Uh, we are adding sports at a time when many other institutions are considering cutting varsity sports. Now we truly are the most unique college hockey experience in the country and, uh, and we're going to exploit that and, and use it to our advantage. Commencing with the 2015 academic year, ASU hockey will compete as a Division I varsity program, all due to the incredible generosity of a group of donors, including Don and Chris Mullet uh, and their family who are here with us today. This donation is a huge commitment for me, my co-donor, and our families. to our players, alumni, and fans, without which there would be no ASU hockey. Thank you to you all. October 3rd means the start of the start of our new era, kind of uh, a day that we can look back on and say this is when it officially all began. See, we've been preparing all week, all uh, you know, ever since I committed here. So 12, you know, 10, 10 months since, uh, since I committed here, just getting ready for for the first game. And you know, I got a lot of people supporting me. Grew up here. Um, really excited. Uh, yeah, it's going up against U of A, our first game. Uh, obviously, they're still club, but it doesn't matter. I mean. They're, they're we're we're focused on staying focused on what's most important now, you know, and that's just that's just hockey. That's why we came out a day early. That's why we're staying out here tonight, uh, so they're away from all the distractions and um, and uh, we can focus just just on coming together as a team before we get on the ice together for the first time. I love this game. I put my heart and my soul into it. But yeah, I think in the back of my mind, you know, the fact that it is the last first one, I might have a little extra jump in my step, you know, a little more fire in my belly. Going high, we're pushing hard, we're sliding and pinching every time. Every time, this guy is going every single time. It's this responsibility, this sentiment to be the high guy. could have either stayed where you were or gone anywhere else. You decided to come here to be a part of a once in a lifetime opportunity. That's exactly what this is. This entire program, this entire night is a once in a lifetime opportunity. This game, you'll never get back. There's not many of those things that happen in your life. The day has finally arrived. Since November 18th, Sun Devil hockey fans have been waiting for this moment. The Sun Devils NCAA season is opening. Hey, who's gonna be an answer to a trivia question? Huh? Who's gonna pop the first one? Yeah! Schmitty got it. One becomes three, real quick here. Let's go. Oh. Hey. Keep going here, boys. Keep going now. Keep going. Bro, you're up. Bro, you're up. Yeah. Good finish. Four goals, and they only allow one in their first 20 minutes of play. Okay, good habits. Good habits. We clearly outclass these guys. <coughs> Don't get away from what's going to win us hockey games next weekend. All right? 
Good happens. Very, very solid team as you're seeing tonight. Give and go, Masters again, his second goal of the night. Celebrate, young fella. The freshman has two. Stevens, a great pass, oh. a falling shot. Are you kidding me? What a goal there by Matt Kennedy. But nonetheless, here comes Stevens, a great deke. Wow, what a goal. Beautiful, Ryan Stevens. Here he got a chance, instead gives it up. Backhand by McGovern. Gila River Arena was the site of the first NCAA game for the Devils. They are victorious over the Wildcats, eight to one. Until next time, keep on swinging. All-star masters. We came out hard, we came out fast. Um, really not much to complain about. You know, we'll get the power play worked out. All right, we got a ton of different looks. We'll go to film, we'll figure out what the best combos are, and we'll start to get that working. Yeah, all the boys were messing around right after that, asking me, like, hey, yeah, you're gonna be the trivia guy, and I really didn't understand that until I'm like, oh, wait, it really hasn't set in yet uh, either, but it's really indescribable. It's a, a humbling event that happened. It's something that will carry on for the rest of my life that I can tell my grandkids about, and I'm just speechless about it, really. Great atmosphere, loud crowd, they were into the game. Um, it was special, it was special, and we want to build off it. It was a lot of fun being out here this weekend and being in a professional setting against our arch rival and taking it to him pretty hard, so we're happy. I don't think anybody on the team, even last year, until it got announced, really believed that it was going to happen. You know, there's rumors here and there, but um, I mean, until it was actually announced, it was always kind of like, is it actually going to happen? You know, like when we got here, we always talked about it. Like my freshman year through senior year, eventually we thought it would happen and it'd be a pretty cool thing. But uh, the fact that it happened and I got the opportunity to play was uh, was awesome. Uh, when I found out that Arizona State was going Division One, it was more of just kind of a proud moment. I mean, knowing how, knowing what hockey's like in the desert and kind of the struggle that it is to get it to where it needs to be and where it honestly should be. More beyond the excitement and the accomplishment and all that feeling, it was more of just proud that finally the desert got something it deserved. My journey to ASU started about 10 months ago, um, about two weeks after we announced that we were going to Division One as a varsity sport. Um, Coach Powers, he uh, contacted me and let me know that he was going to watch one of my games uh, on the road and, and uh, when I was in Texas, and, and then offered me a spot there and I became the first uh, player to commit. That was a big part of me committing here and coming here. Um, I was part of the Muskegon, the brand new team in the USHL, and I kind of like that atmosphere and you know coming to a new team and setting the tradition for all the kids to come. So I thought that was definitely a big uh, selling point for me. It was just like middle of the week, and I got a text from Powers, and, and it was like and it said uh, it was a picture of me up on the wall at uh, the ice den. Uh, There's a picture of me. It said oh, Anthony Cross and Rio Grande Valley Killabees. And he texted me, he sent a picture of it, and he said, how about we make this a Sun Devil jersey? I would love more than anything to be there. Um, so, I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer. I, I, didn't, I didn't want to go anywhere else. Like, this was my dream place to go. So, uh, it was like, it was an amazing feeling. It was awesome. Now that we have a NCAA program here in the desert and being from Arizona, I think above all else, that's one thing that I can walk away being proud of, knowing that the blood, sweat, and tears that I put into this actually led to something, and also all the guys that are around us too. I mean, there's a bunch of local guys here now, and we can all look back and say, hey, we, in a sense, we helped start this. Going D1, you know, now it's the whole student body seems to be more involved, and you know, you go and you go and you tell your professor before class that you play on the hockey team at ASU, and they, you know, they're, oh, wow, I like, just heard they went division, you know, and everybody's pretty excited about it, and asking questions, and this and that, and 
um, you know, you just get the feel that it's going to be something special. Talking with students on campus, you know, some people stop us and be like, hey, you guys the hockey team, like, just want to introduce ourselves, and, you know, I think that's cool, you know, for them and for us. It's, you know, you get to know the fans, the students, and you kind of interact with them, you know. People say, hey, I'll be at your game on Friday, you know, that's cool for us, too, you know. Makes us smile, makes us have a better day, and, you know, looks, they look forward to something they can do on a Friday, Saturday. I think for me it was a chance to be a part of you know, history, essentially. You know, the whole, um, you know, our motto, be the tradition. Um, like, it really, like, that's, that's the biggest thing for me that was really exciting. Like, you know, um, 20 years from now, being able to kind of look back and, you know, show my son, like, yep, like, that was, that was us. We, we built that, so hopefully 20 years from now, it's, it's pretty good. There's been so much to do in every facet of the program from, literally making our entire staff and hiring everybody on our staff. That was a big, big task that we took a while to complete uh, to get the right people on board. Um, then obviously recruiting is cyclical and it never stops, but it was really pedal to the metal to get as many good kids in here as we could. It, it's, it's, it's been a whirlwind. That's, a, that's the exact, I guess, adjective that you can use to describe the last 10 months to get to this point. It's been 24-7 hockey, which I love. I mean, not many people get to do what they love for a living. I'm very fortunate. Um, and uh, it's like when people say, you know, how do you like it? And I, I, my, my answer generally is it beats working. So um, this, is, this is a lot of fun. There is Ryan Belanger comes in one-on-one. -on -one. He takes it on the forehand. It was almost just kind of surreal. We're like, holy crap, like, we just won, you know? And and because, uh, you know, not a lot of people expected us to go up there and, and really even compete, let alone take a game to overtime and then win. So um, it was uh, it was a special feeling, you know? It was it was one that, that I'll never forget. I think that kind of uh, surprised a lot of us, but, I mean, it got us where we need to be going and kind of it was a good realization that we all belong here so that was a huge part of that the obvious difference is just the caliber of hockey um, you know every every player in every game every shift is going 100 percent at ncaa and they've been going 100 percent for the four years they've been there uh, we're long and you know their compete level is so high um, maybe at the club level it's it's not quite as quite as high and it's maybe not as consistent um, just the, the level of commitment that you have to put in the, the workouts the coming to the rink for two hours a day, you know, it's, it's a big time commitment to travel. Um, that, that's probably the biggest difference. Played by the Sun Devils, long shot, score! Short side, got by Kossoff, troll. Now it's right out in front of the shot, blocked there by the Lakers, and they score on the rebound. It came off the Laker player in the Laker zone. Now they center it in front, scored! You could see that coming. That weekend against Lake State was special. You know, it wasn't a fluke. Um, I don't think we grossly outplayed them by any means, but that was a weekend against a good hockey team that, that our guys earned two wins. They earned them. And, um, it's hard to sweep at any level in Division One hockey, and, and you can look at everybody's schedule or talk to any coach, and they'll tell you that. So for a young team in our in our hybrid season to go on the road and sweep a Division One program with national championship banners hanging from the rafters, it was really really special. Awesome two games, and I think we shocked a lot of people there. And you know, for the next few games that we have left in D1, you know, just work hard on and off the ice, and just show people what ASU has to offer and what we can do down the line. That was tough, and that was right in the middle of a stretch where we couldn't find the back of the net, just were losing too many games, and I think that was just, the overall feeling was just that we were failing. You know, there were some weeks that we were losing a lot of games, um, and you know, we try our best to stay positive, but you know, it's always hard. Every day is a work day, and it doesn't matter what it is, you know, you have to come and you have to be able to work hard, and you have to be able to want to push the people next to you, because I think if you're not pushing each other, then really, what are you doing?
more than anything else right now, okay, everybody in this room, the guy sitting across from you, the guy sitting next to you, you've earned this opportunity. This is a golden opportunity. This is what so many people for so many years dreamed of and worked hard for to build this program for this moment right here and moments like these moving forward. There is a shot redirected and in goal for the Huskies off the initial shot from Houston. His way through, gives it, give and go, tic tac toe, five hole. Sean Pauly, 2 0 UConn. So after a scoreless first period, UConn takes the advantage 2 0 in the second period. Also, they just lit up the shot sheet. Do you see anything out there that we can't handle? Anything? <laughs> no, not even close. This is a winnable game. National championship team as a turnover. Bear is crashing in and scoring his second goal of the game. Left alone in the slot on a sloppy turnover by the Devils. That is probably going to be the dagger. Five minutes left, three goal lead. I think that that weekend officially kind of kind of sent our, our team into a little bit of a depression. You know, we were home, it was our first division one home games. To have the three games that we knew, um, the only three we we're gonna have all year and not, not get a win, or, and let alone at does a classic score a goal for our fans was, was, uh, was disappointing for our guys. We all know we've all played a game long enough that sometimes things just don't go your way and sometimes they don't go your way for a while. And I think that was just, just a classic case of that. Brings it back the other way. Here comes Hampus Gustafson, two on one. Cross ice, pass shot, score! Hampus Gustafson sets up the play and the Warriors finish it off. Derek Petty with the goal. And it's now 10 0 Merrimack. Everyone has those points, or everyone has those times where they struggle. You just have to stay positive and overcome. Like we are, we are a first year team, but it's, it's not an excuse. Ah, uh, it's not good. It's super quiet. And I don't just. Nothing really to say after you lose 10 nothing. just embarrassment. You know, when, when your team goes through that, there's not much you can say. The last thing they want to hear is, is a rah-rah or, or uh, especially anything negative. And Christie scores on the tip. You know, look, just bottle this up. You know, bottle this up and, and remember this as we build this program together, guys. You know, just remember how, how this feels. Okay, let's overwhelm everybody in this building. Let's give one last parting shot to these clowns and send them away limping like you wouldn't believe. Overwhelm them, be physical, get in hard on the four check. Let's absolutely blow them out, give them no hope, and we are not gonna let off the gas. We got, we got a really tough one coming up here, right? So it's one week of complete and utter detail and focus that we're going to have to be our very best to, to go out with a couple of wins, right? And that's the plan. I mean, you learn to hate these guys with everything you have. So then when they start kind of trying to poke at you and kind of wake up the bear a bit, you're just, I mean, it just adds that much fuel to fire. Other four seniors, let's go out the right.
ASU on two. One, two, ASU! Here we go, boys. Go here, boys. Woo! Gotta enjoy it, soak it all up, I guess. Here we go, boys. Survived it. Okay, had some big saves, got some good killing, and uh, and we got we got a goal back. All right, so we cut that. Let's build off that. Let's erase that period. Not nearly enough energy. Not nearly enough energy on that bench. You have nothing to save yourselves for. Remember that. You have to play every shift. It is what it is, right? Um, just you know, at the end of the day, I, I you know, it's, so it, we didn't come away with a win here today. I, I'm, I'm really proud of you guys. I am. From the bottom of my heart, I'm proud of you. I thought you showed some fight out there. Um, it's a good team. That, you know, there's not much I can say other than I love you. And I, I can't thank you enough um, for your effort. I can't thank you enough for being a part of this first season. Um, we're going to miss you four guys a lot. I'm glad that, uh, I'm really, really, really glad you guys got to be a part of this because you deserve to be, and we wouldn't be here without you. It was a tough season, right? It was long and it was hard. We knew it was going to be really hard, um, but but we, you know we're really focused on on all the positives that we can take out of this. Certainly, things that that happen negatively to us, we're we're going to take and store and learn from and build off of as well. But we had a dynamic this year that that nobody, including myself, player, staff, anybody will ever will ever face again the rest of their lives. When you bring that many new people, I think we had 21 new players. 21 brand new players. We had a, a, a brand new staff with equipment manager and strength and conditioning and uh, athletic trainer and new coaches and new ops and new volunteer coach. Everything was brand new. So nobody really knew how anyone worked, including me. It was interesting, you know, um, we had you know, we had some good leaders on the team and we had some older guys, which, you know, as a young player, you're kind of coming to college, you really don't know what to expect or kind of what the other guys are going to expect. And, you know, I, you know, getting close with Young and Norris and they were great. Like, I think that they kind of set what we needed to do and kind of how to gel as a team. And I think they did just that. Like, within our first few weeks, I think we came together really close as a team. Obviously, the program builders were Liam and Jordy. Um, you know, Liam, again, he, he was with me this year for five years. That's longer than anybody in our entire organization has been with me, player, coach, anybody. So been through a lot with that kid, and he's, he's seen the progression of our program outside of myself really more than anybody, and he's a, he's a player, you know. So it was cool to, to, to be able to go through that with him. And Jordy, um, you know, monumental recruit for us, first USHL player to ever play on our club team made it kind of cool and okay for others to follow. It takes a lot of guts uh, to, to sign up for something knowing that the odds of being successful in terms of what we're all measured as players and coaches by wins, you know, are, are stacked against you. And for the guys to sign up for that and embrace it the way that they did, like to me that's, that's being brave.
I think I want this team to be remembered as, you know, a huge impact on ASU in the hockey world. And, you know, going first year D1, you know, I think that's a big deal for programs. And I look at Penn State and they had that transition period. And we did that in one year. You know, I think I just want us to be remembered by what we accomplished in the group of guys that we have. Because we did have a good group of guys and the way that we all gelled is definitely something to remember. Um, this is a team that never really quit. Um, we, you know, we've had some, we had some tough uh, stretches there, but you know, we always stayed positive. Um, you know, just worked, worked, worked hard and um, you know, it's definitely going to pay off for us in the future. Hockey in the deserts been around for a while, it's been really good, but it's never got the recognition that it deserves. And I think getting the Division One hockey team down here and then being a part of it and being a part of the local programs, uh, I mean, it's just awesome. It's kind of a, a sense of belonging, I guess. You walk into the room, like I said, and I sit in my stall, and I just think over the last five years of all the people that have come through here, all the lifelong friendships I've made, the person I've become and how I've grown since I've been here. Um, and it's all just ASU hockey, you know? We're gonna get it there, I don't doubt my mind, and, and neither does our administration in any way, and, and, and neither do anybody on our staff. So, um, you know, we're excited, excited to move into the future.